So go out there and go do something, man. Do something that's going to impact your life in the way that you want it to. Do something that's going to make you be better. Do something that's going to, like, give you that extra, extra point on the board. <laughs> Wagwan. So I just got back from the gym. Just got myself a little snack. I'm about to go make some protein. But I wanted to have a quick chat about momentum and keeping your motivation. Anyway, like for the last, what? It's been like six weeks now, right? Almost. I started its bulk. A lot of you guys have seen me in the beginning. I was 154. The ball's going good so far. I got to 167 <laughs> the other day I weighed myself, but I weighed myself later in the day, so maybe that has something to do with it. But 167 from 154 in only six weeks. Oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh. Just think about that, 13 pounds. Like, as you can see, my shoulder looks a little bit wider. I don't know, I like the look. I'm used to being a tad bit leaner. But I'm pretty still, I'm pretty lean still. Yeah. I don't know, I've been, I've been enjoying it, yo. Because I've been going to work the whole time. Like, you guys know I'm an electrical apprentice. And I've also been going to my other job at Pontillo's, you know. Ah. Uh, it's been cool, man. I thought it was going to be hard to do all this when I was a bit younger, you know. Work and chase goals, so... I was one of those guys who would prioritize my dreams over what I needed to do. If you get what I'm saying? Like, grandiose ideas of doing things that I thought I wanted to do, but now I realize we're just, you know, I just wanted to have fun and enjoy life a little bit and chase something actually worth chasing because, like, in the Matrix, you pretty much have to choose a job that sucks. It takes a while, or it's even, like, almost impossible to find your dream job. You have to, like, literally work so many jobs before you find that job, right? Because regardless of what anyone in the world says, we all work to some degree. Even the people who, like, they work from home, say they have, like, a social media company or, like, say a YouTube business or something. I'm pretty sure they're editing all the time. They're organizing. They're coordinating, you know, just a lot of logistics and stuff like that. So the trick is to find something that you enjoy doing, pretty much. Ah. <sighs> I've been at this new site for like four weeks now. So a whole month. It's pretty cool. I've been learning from a couple of the different journeymen, master electricians around, you know. Man, there's so much to learn in electric work. I'm, I'm excited about it. It's the industry of the future after all. 30 years from now, pretty much everything is going to be completely electric. And over those 30 years that are like yet to come it's gonna be my job to install that stuff so you could see it in 30 years from now right <laughs> it's nice though, to be working on a co uh, college campus after working in a hospital for a little bit because that was my first assignment i was working for the same company as you guys know i like it as far as my gym goals go like man <sighs> it's just up and up up and up dude like I benched 222 for a couple reps, like a few days in a row, back to back to back to back. So you're not building that strength reserve. You know that. Like, that's how you build the strength. You have to, like, do it consistently. Like, just do a few reps every day, every day, every day at the same weight. When you get some rest, you get more calories in you. Then you come back the next week. That's how you PR. That's why I've always PR'd. When I started going to the gym, guys, I could barely bench 95 pounds. That's a lie, probably 115. Yeah, I could barely bench like 115. Man, it's been almost two whole years now I've been going to the gym consistently. And my bench has steadily risen. Like, man, my bench has steadily risen over the years. Incredibly, like, I remember when I hit like 160 for the first time, 
then I hit 185. It was like my head was about to explode because I was like, what the hell did I just do? I can't, I can't believe I did this. This little kid who literally was like 129 pounds wet <laughs> when he was like, say, 19, 20, 21. Like, I kept my lean physique for a while. I'm pretty, like, my dad's pretty skinny. My mom's pretty skinny. So I'm like very skinny. I got both their jeans in me, of course. But now, just working out and doing the actual exercises that help those body parts that you want to grow, grow. Like, you could look however you want to look. Like, probably not height unless you do surgery or something. But you could look however you want to look. Maybe I'm a hyper responder because I played soccer for more than, what, 12 years, 13, 14 years. Like, at a good level. Like, always played, like, club and for my schools growing up always been doing track growing up i love like the 400 meters and all the relays and long jumps oh that was my stuff growing up man so maybe i have that little i don't know just muscle memory from being able to like push my muscles to the limit and recover because in the gym man i go to the gym five days a week at least but for this bulk i've been going six days seven days sometimes sometimes i go like eight days and i take a rest like oh my gosh man i don't even feel exhausted when i wake up in the morning like rock hard like literally mind focus on what the hell i want to do i know nothing's gonna stop me dude i just know nothing's gonna stop me and i want you guys to like pretty much use that same energy that you have inside of you that fire that burning desire to be better you know I know you guys know it's a competition. Being a man, it's a competition to be, like, pretty much anything successful out here. We actually have to face the fire. We're not naturally born with this value that, say, women are born with. They're young, valuable, beautiful, you know? Over the years, if they made the right choices, they could have their dream life. For us, it's different. You're on a life raft in the middle of the ocean, okay? That's a reference I got from First Man. I heard him mention that before. And it just resonated with me because I totally feel like that sometimes. You're in the middle of an ocean and you have to paddle your way back to shore and there's nobody coming to save you. You know? Like, guys, you got to take responsibility for your own life, man. You're not on a purpose. It's called your responsibility, right? Dude, you beat like 400 million of your siblings as a sperm to get to the egg. And you are here in this world on crazier odds than the lotto, man. Come on, bro. Come on. You're already winning. You're letting them take your motivation away from you with all these distractions like social media drugs porn the worst of them all like what do you think happens to your brain when you are just over sensitized like that and your dopamine receptors are just like literally worn out from you just doing instant gratification activities all all the time all the time all the time you get to the area of your life <clears throat> you get to a point where you start thinking oh life is supposed to just be easy everything is supposed to be yeah this is how it's meant to be Ah, it's bliss. You feel so good, right? You're not meant to feel good all the time. You're not going to make progress in your life, man. You need all the feelings you have inside. That motivation you feel, that fire, that necessary anger that we all have inside. You're a man, so I know exactly what you have inside of you. Yeah, we, we all feel it, dude. Like, you have a fire inside of you. You want to be better than everybody else around you, don't you? Pretty sure you don't want to get walked over by anybody else. All right, if you, if you don't get what I'm saying, look at it like this. So in deer and elk, when it's like mating season, you know only a few of the elk, the male elk in a herd, like only a few of them get to reproduce. They battle for that right, dude. They battle for that right. And that's how it is with every species of creature on earth. You're a male, you're meant to pretty much dominate other males be better than everybody else around you 
that's what you should strive for. Throughout history, only about 47% of men have reproduced, yeah. Do you want to be, like, the half of the fucking population that don't reproduce? Don't you want to have a life, a family? Don't you want to lead that family? Don't you want to be the strong, masculine leader that you know you're meant to be? Deep down inside of you, you know you're meant to be that. Are you going to keep distracting yourself with all these inconsequential things that don't aid your life in any way and just hinder you, hold you back? Or are you going to start making some ground? Because I know what's going to happen in like a month from now in the gym when it's like New Year's resolution day. A lot of people are going to be on the crux of making an important decision this year. Do I want to take control of my life and start getting fit? Or do I just want to stay who I am? And I have a sneaky feeling that this year there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be trying to change the way they are now. Because you've been locked down. A lot of people are waking up and like seeing what that, yo, we've been living on autopilot, dude. It's kind of hard because our brains weren't evolved to like take in all this social media and instant communication with any human in the world at any moment. So many half naked ladies just walking around everywhere, like everywhere you go on social media, it's like literally porn on your screen. We weren't developed for that, man. That's what's holding us back, I feel. We weren't developed for that, man. We were developed like pretty much in our small tribes that we had. We know what, 100, 200 people at most. If you lived in like a, like a bigger town, you'd probably know like 400, 500 people throughout your lifetime, right? On a personal level. Now everybody has access to your life. You're under more scrutiny. Like anybody could just pick apart your life from a very far distance and you have no idea who they are. Isn't that weird too? Maybe that's the reason why so many people are self-deleting. So many people are having anxiety. So many people have depression. So many people just aren't optimistic and I don't get it. Before I understood it, but now I totally don't get it. You have to take control of your life, guys. You're meant to take over the world, okay? We are all meant to be leaders. We were born leaders. We're natural leaders. So go out there and go do something, man. Do something that's gonna impact your life in the way that you want it to. Do something that's gonna make you be better. Do something that's gonna like give you that extra, extra point on the board. That's all you gotta do as a man, is just keep grinding and don't make like big mistakes like having a kid out of marriage and like being with the wrong chick. Like, dude, we could do anything we wanna do, anything. Just look at any field, any leadership position, any job. If you want to do it, you can pretty much do it. All you have to do is just be dedicated to it and have patience. As a man, you have the advantage of time because you could be 36 and just be figuring out what you've got to do, right? So figure it out now. The sooner, the better. The sooner, the better. The sooner, the better, okay? As a man, you have the advantage of being, say, any age and making it in life, okay? So use it. Start now. If you, like, if you figure out what you want to do at a young age and you're able to grind on that, say for five, ten, oh my gosh. Dude, you know where you're going to be? You're going to be way ahead of anybody else around you. A leader among men. So figure out what you want to do and go do it. If you don't know what you want to do, just try stuff and figure it out. That's it. Just have the patience and know that, yo, I'm not going to figure out what I'm going to do overnight unless you're really lucky. There's something out here for each and every one of us. We have a special place in this world. Go claim what's yours. Be better. Perp out. I keep it fancy. Know I like them Jackson. Your bitch she watching. Yeah, she say I'm here.